In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add mouse over effects to your website. A mouse over effect is typically used as a call to action, signalling to your visitor that there is something to discover underneath the mouse pointer. You've probably come across mouse over effects already, usually when mousing over a piece of hyperlink text or menu option. As you can see in this example, when the mouse hovers over the text, its colour changes. The same applies if I mouse over my navigation menu. This is known as a rollover or mouse over effect. If I clicked on the hyperlink, I could use a different colour to show that the link has been visited. In Everweb, you can create these mouse over effects very easily. In my project file, I have a text box containing a word that I wish to hyperlink. I start by selecting the word itself, and then I go to the hyperlinks inspector. Here I'm going to change the colour of the mouse over and visited states. I go to the hyperlinks formatting section and change the colours for rollover and visited. If I want, I can also set the underline to be either on or off. The hyperlink formatting options can also be used on Everweb's built-in navigation menu widget. This widget uses hyperlinks itself to take you to different pages in your website. As well as text, you can use mouse over effects for other objects such as shapes or images. For example, I can apply a mouse over effect to an arrow shape. In this case, I want the colour of the arrow to change when I mouse over it. And, in addition, when I click on the arrow, I want to hyperlink it so that it goes to another page. I start by dragging and dropping an arrow shape onto my page from the toolbar. With the arrow shape selected, I first go to the Shape Options tab. By default, the fill type is set to normal, with the colour set to blue. I can change the fill type from normal to mouse over so that I see a different colour when I mouse over the arrow. To achieve this, I first select Colour Fill from the drop down menu. I then use the colour swatch to change the colour as I want. When I'm finished, I can use Preview to see the results when I mouse over the arrow. And finally, I'm going to hyperlink the arrow using the hyperlinks inspector to link the arrow to another page in my website. As this is a shape option, I cannot use the hyperlinks formatting options as these only apply to text. Mouse over effects are also a great way to add discovery areas to your images. In this example, I'm going to add a text box to my image that only appears when I mouse over a certain part of the image. First, add an image to the page. Next, create a text box and delete the text that it contains. The text box is now effectively an empty box. Next, go to the Shape Options tab and select the fill type for Mouse Over. I'm going to use an image file that contains the text I want, which I prepared earlier in a graphics editing program. I add the image file using the Image Fill option from the drop-down menu. Finally, to make sure that this image is on top, use the Arrange Always on Top menu option. As the normal fill type is an empty box, you'll see nothing in the editor window except for the text box outline. When you preview the page, mouse over the area of the image that contains the empty text box, and you'll see that the mouse over image containing the text will appear. In my last example, 
I have used the black and white EvWeb logos so that the colour of the logo changes when I mouse over it. For the normal image fill, I have used the black EvWeb logo. For the mouse over fill, I again use image fill, but this time with the white EvWeb logo. This technique is great when using social media buttons, as you can see when using the Facebook logo on the right. The image fill of normal is the regular Facebook logo in the round circle, and the image fill mouse over that I have selected here is identical to the original image, but in reverse. Now when I preview the page, you can see that as I mouse over the EverWeb logo, it gets reversed, and when I mouse over the Facebook logo, it also gets reversed as well.